what's going on everybody broken games hdr back at it again with another video so insomniac and playstation were the victims of a ransomware attack by a ransomware group um i don't think they've identified who the group is yet and i think it was last week the ransomware group uh they announced that you know they were able to obtain uh information get into sony's systems obtain information in regards to like uh things insomniac has been working on um like their schedule their roadmap uh um incomplete um gameplay and footage of things they're working on such as wolverine and just in general other company information from playstation and i think the ransom that they said they wanted was like i forgot it wasn't even a crazy amount i think it was two to five million and i don't so to me, leaks are no are usually usually nowhere as bad as people make them out to be. If I was PlayStation, I wouldn't have paid that ransom anyway. Because if you pay a ransom to one, you're gonna have to like bend the knee to a whole bunch of others. And I really don't think, like I said, leaks really hurt internally. Developers and companies don't want this information out there. Understand, you know, especially the developers, they're sensitive and about their art and and, and about their craft. Um, but ultimately, I really don't feel like it hurts them in most cases. When this game, when Wolverine comes out or when any of these games come, come out, nobody is going to remember this leak. Nobody's going to care. That's, that's the way it is. Nobody's really going to care. They're going to see the final product. They're either going to be impressed by that or not impressed. And that is what will uh, create the narrative and, and create the reputation for their game. So I don't think it really hurts them in the long run, or it, and, and and I don't really think it matters. Um, so, yeah, I don't, you know, and, and a lot of people are treating like Insomniac with and PlayStation with like kid kids gloves uh, when it comes to this leak. Oh, don't talk about it, don't share it. I'm like, bro, we talk about and share every other leak. I'm not about to treat them different because they're Insomniac. And granted, this wasn't just a leak; this was more of an attack, and that's how they were they were able to in obtain all this. Uh, all the all this stolen material, but I'm gonna still talk about it. Granted, I'm not gonna put it on screen because it is stolen material, and I don't want them to possibly take down my channel. That's the only reason I'm not gonna put it on screen. Usually, when I'm go talking about this stuff, it's better to have a visual aid, but just to protect my channel. That's the only reason why I'm not putting it up. But as far as like, if anybody wants the link, hey, hit me up. I'm sharing it. It's out there, so I don't that I don't care about that. It's not my job. My job is to talk about stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's there's so much. Initially, I was gonna do a video, right? Uh, because somebody on Reddit put up an Insomniac leak compilation because stuff was scattered everywhere. But somebody put together, I I I don't know if this is like the full terabyte, terabyte and a half or whatever it was, but they've they've got like it's like thirty bullet points, and I got like or I had like. 30 tabs open to look at all this stuff so um usually i don't edit my videos but um i'm just gonna like go into each one of the, these and maybe just say my my quick thoughts uh on everything apologize if y'all see any mouth uh, mouse clicks i'm opening up all these things in in, in tabs and everything like that but yeah i just want to give my, my quick thoughts on the leak so first of all overall like i said i don't think the leak is a i don't think it harms them in the long run i don't think it does anything to the future of the game Wolverine or the other things on the roadmap. You know, I think most people are, people will troll, people will joke, you know, the whole console war thing. But I don't think, I think most people are intelligent enough to know that what we see is not representative of the final project. A lot of, th a lot of things may change because when you look at the footage, yeah, you can see the potential, but everything looks janky. So it's, it's still really hard to even judge. Um, and this game is like two years out, I think it is. All right, so first tab is just a bunch of, you know, concept art. Um, we learned that there's going to be a, a bunch of <clears throat> uh, characters from the X-Men world um, in here. You know, uh, Mr. Sinister, uh, Omega Red, uh, I think Lady Deathstrike, they said. Um, uh, Sabretooth, yeah, you know. Um, there's some gameplay footage that we saw. Like I said, the gameplay gameplay footage is 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 clearly undone, but it, you know you see how it plays. He can like he has traversal, he can climb around. Uh, he has a you know Wolverine is able to he has enhanced smell. So you so it, it's kind of like 
just like Batman and other games, like they're, 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 they have their own version of the detective mode. Wolverine can sniff around and piece, um, piece things together um, using, his, uses, using his senses and stuff like that. Let me go to the next tab. What else we got? Oh, they got an animation, um, like an animation demo, just seeing uh, the different animations in the game and in combat and in, and in traversal and stuff like that. And oh, and we also get to play as we learn through this. We also get to play as Jean Grey and we get to see her whole like move set. They have her in like a training room and Wolverine in a training room. You could see, you know, their move set. So there are going to be multiple um, protagonists uh, in this game, even though it's going to focus on uh, it's going to focus on Wolverine. Um, so the combat looks, you know, hopefully there's a lot of blood in there um, and, and it's gory. Can't tell from these leaks. Um, the cast has leaked as well. We get to see who's playing who, uh, you know, who's playing, um, you know, all these all these characters. Wolverine. Uh, who is this? Um, oh, yeah. Mystique. I forgot to mention Mystique. Uh, Omega Red. Yeah. Um, Mr. Sinister. Uh, yeah. Is this Beast? No, that's not Beast. That's Sasquatch. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Um, moving past that. Then the apparently the full plot plot has leaked, and I kind of skimmed over this. It's it's kind of like, uh, and it's a general full plot leak. It doesn't tell you all the details in between. Um, it's like 230 lines and it just tells you all the major beats, all the major points. And I've kind of like skimmed through it, but all this stuff is, is really hard to like really judge without context. Like I have to see this on screen. Like I can't read this script and be like, oh, this story's fire or, or, oh, this story's trash because it's, it's very vague and it's very general, just hitting on the major plot points. So, but yeah, I... Y'all you know I don't really care about spoilers. I've pretty much, I pretty much damn near know the end, at the end of the game and all the major story beats. If this ends up being uh, still accurate, um, which a lot of it could be. Um, what is this? So this looks like um, some not concept art necessarily, but certain drawings, and uh, it, it kind of shows like everything that goes into game development. Really, you know, they have to like use a lot of reference uh, from real life locations and um yeah just real life locations to get inspiration of how of how uh certain things just just very minute things like just how a chair should look and if you're in a certain region the chair should look like this or um this you know this table should look like this because that's how it looks in these in these regions just very meticulous things um art you know, uh, oh, if you're in this country, they use bamboo and, you know, so stuff like that you get to see. Like, it's very real, real meticulous when they try to create create an environment um, that's very authentic. So that's kind of what I'm looking at now. Um, yeah, let's go to the next tab. I'm just zooming past these tabs. Uh, so more inspiration, you know, location inspiration, comic inspiration uh, bits uh some mocap um so here's here's what's really interesting some juicy stuff cuz i mainly care about the gameplay and like the gameplay schedule right so here's the details about the game so there's going to be and once again this is subject to change but 40 missions 15 hours total uh it says uh let's see uh gameplay type action combat Tactical choice, stealth, traversal, sense puzzles, um, and exotic set pieces and bosses. And uh, so, yeah, it goes down to the core mechanics overview, combat, stealth, traversal, senses, progression. Um, so they talk about Wolverine's moveset. Um, light heavy combo system. Light attacks are fast but do low damage. Heavy attacks are low are slow but do high damage. Power attacks, kind of like conventional stuff you would pr practically guess. Power attacks, hold, light attack, button to launch enemies into the air, hold, and charge the heavy attack button. Um, critical strikes, enemies with low health or in special states can be one-hit killed. That sounds like an execution. Dodge, blocking, and parrying. Uh, I think there might be dismemberment also. I hope so. I really hope this game has dismemberment. 
special abilities, tornado spinning attack, armor, armor buster, hot claws, shockwave slashes, uh, grabs and throws. Uh, yeah. Combat. They talk about the combat health system, you know, how he regenerates his health, you know, how stealth works. Not going to get into the weeds of all this stuff, but he can wall climb, run, scramble, uh, corner sprint and parkour, uh, jump, slide, pole swinging, zip line. Uh, where else? Uh, enhanced senses, sound, sense, uh, scent, vision, uh, ability, progression and suits. Uh, yeah, they talk about just, you know, gaining XP and all this stuff. What else? Oh, playable Jean Grey, as I mentioned already. Um, and some of the enemy types, Reavers, uh, the Hand, Sentinels, uh, some of the bo the bosses, Omega Red, Death Strike, Sentinels, uh, Sabertooth, yeah. Let's see, what else? Um, they talk about some side quests and stuff like that, and some of the uh, some of the features that are going to be in the game, you know, um, as far as the uh, the visuals go. And then the roadmap. So I didn't like I didn't like the roadmap. Right. Because, listen, I don't want Insomniac to be a studio that that pretty much only works on uh, Marvel IPs. I don't want them to be just a Marvel IP studio. I would have no problem if like they did a Marvel IP did something else and then went back to a marvel ip and i understand you know it's about the money and this these marvel ips are going to make a lot of money but still i just don't want and and even if it's something they want to do it could be something like the insomniac studio no we want to work on these on all these marvel um ips i'm just saying for me i would i would i want a mix of of things um so so yeah, we we see this this timeline. Wolverine, they have Wolverine coming out towards the end of 2025, Spider-Man 3, uh somewhere around and there's different roadmaps that say different things really. Uh they there was even an online game with multiplayer they were considering. Um Of course, it, you know, it 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 doesn't doesn't talk about a a new IP until like around 2030 is going to be the X-Men game. Um, around 2029, yeah. Um, Spider-Man three wouldn't be until 2028, which I'm I'm happy about that. I don't want Spider-Man three anytime soon. Uh, X-Men license term, PlayStation console and PC. I don't know if that means day one or eventually uh, moving to PC. Uh, what else do we have? Release date: release all games by 2035. Sell all games through at least 2038, you know, the exclusivity, you know, information, uh, the Marvel royalties, because, you know, when you have a licensed game, of course, you don't uh, get all of that. So digital games, you know, like it's nine, what is that, nine to 18 percent of net sales, you know, all that, all that stuff. Um, so according to this, like, leak slide, so yeah, it would be Venom, a Venom game, 2025, Wolverine, 2026. These, all these say different things, I think. Uh, a Ratchet and Clank game would finally come out around 2029 also. And the X-Men game is 2030. But, you know, with game development, nothing goes exactly to plan. Stuff get, stuff get delayed, pushed back. Stuff rarely ever gets pushed up. So I don't think we can actually live by this. Um, so, and we also have an Insomniac return on investment chart. Let's you know how much uh, each one of these games sold. Um, their projections for their games that are that are that haven't come out yet. Uh, so, like for example, Miles Morales, the lifetime sales are like ten million. Um, the total cost of the game was uh, one hundred and one hundred and fifty six million. The total profit was one hundred and four million because it because their total revenue was two sixty. So it it broke broke even over a you know a hundred hundred percent ROI. Um, Spider-Man remaster, you know, the numbers for that. Ratchet, what a lot of people were talking about today is Ratchet and Clank. So it sold 2.2 million um, as of the date of whenever the, this slide was made. The total revenue was 73 million. The total cost was 81 million. So the total profit was negative 8 million. A lot of people are, are talking about that. So that's a negative 10% ROI, which I'm not necessarily... Uh, surprised by 
Um, because I think you can you can contribute that to a few different things. The fact that it was like kind of like a launch game, and it came out around the time when a lot of people uh, couldn't even get a PS5. Um, a lot of launch games usually don't sell that crazy. Um, that's a lot of times that is the case. But if your game has legs, like Spider Man Miles Morales, because I think that was that was like a twenty twenty launch game also that sold well over time. But Ratchet and Clank definitely doesn't have the selling power like um like Spider Man does, obviously. And it, it, it's it's you know there's a conversation to be had about it because people talk about um. Sony allowing some games to take losses in order uh, to, you know, diverse, to diversify their portfolio and offer, you know, games that um, may not be the most uh, commercial success, but people still want them. And but look at the look at the optics of Ratchet and Clank, you know, not making a profit. Look at the optics of it and what people are saying. So they. They get shamed for not being creative and not making these games that don't, that don't make money, but they get shamed for the opposite too. You know, they get shamed for only focusing on um, the games that seem to make money. Like I said, business is business. Like I said, even though I don't want them to just make Marvel IPs, I can completely understand why they're going to, you know, so... It's a personal thing, but I understand it as business. I'm not like one of those people. Like I talk about Japan games all the Japan studios all the time, bro. They weren't making any money. That was pretty clear. Um, they had to be shut down. Um, so I can completely understand, um, you know, both both at both aspects of it. Um, Spider Man Two, uh, you know, that made its money back already. Of course, um, it sold 10 million copies already. Uh, its profit was 75 million. Spider-Man 3, they have projections for that to to make 170 million and stuff like that. Wolverine, the projections is for that to make um, 85 million. So yeah, um, interesting numbers. Um, as far as uh, PC, yeah, Steam sales. Um, Horizon Zero Dawn has sold 3.3 million. Um, God of War 2.5. Days Gone 1.7. Uh, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered 1.3, Unch Uncharted, Legacy of Three, Le Legacy of Thieves, about 500k, uh, Miles Morales, uh, about similar 500k, and Sackboy a Big, Big Adventure, 62k. A lot of people um, look at these Steam sales and think it's a problem. I don't necessarily think that, simply because the way I look at it, and I, I think this is correct way to look at it as, first... PlayStation makes most of these games sell on PlayStation first. We know that. So that's why the games, when they go to Steam, they don't sell as much because most of the people who wanted the game bought it already originally. So, and these games are going there like a year later. So even if these, these games don't necessarily have to sell that much because porting, and I think there's an article in here that talks about the games, uh, you know, how much it costs to port these games. They don't have to sell a lot on Steam to make back the money from being ported. So anything that Steam sells is just a bonus because a lot of these games didn't actually make um, money when they were first uh, initially sold on PlayStation. So anything um, that, that happens on Steam is just a bonus. That's the way I look at it. And like I said, porting doesn't cost a lot of money. So... But eventually, you know, they could go, uh, they probably will go day and date. I think there's, a, there's something uh, slide about this, about that also, them going day and date sometime by like 2030. Uh, and, and Insomniac might be the first to do it. Um, and there's some slides about other studios in here, like Guerrilla Games, for example. Uh, and it says their current employees are current, current employee headcount is about 400. The current projects that they're working on is one is called Hunter's Gathering. So that's probably a code name for a game. Interested to see what that is. Uh, Blue Point is in here. Headcount 80. And it says current projects. It says original content. And then there's a um, concept art for what Blue Point, for Blue Point's next game. And uh, it looks to be, yeah, it looks to be a new IP. It doesn't look to be like a, a remake or a remaster of anything. At least nothing I can recognize. And then this goes on to talk about, you know, the Venom game, uh, 
co- it's it's right now the title is Venom Lethal Protector uh more co- a whole bunch of concept art uh for Ratchet and Clank or a rift apart and and like the script for it and stuff like that some Spider-Man the Great Web I think this might have been a multiplayer game he has some open world uh it says yeah it's a multiplayer open world action adventure game and there was some stuff in here about some uh multiplayer stuff um and some uh Spider-Verse stuff. So yeah, that's kind of me just skimming over the um kind of quickly skimming over all the all the leaks. Like I said, it's really hard to get get into all of this all of this stuff, but hey man, e- internally it's been kind of rough uh for PlayStation. Like I said, I don't I don't really think like this leak is like super bad or something horrible. Um but they've had a rough time the last the last few months. So you can only hope that uh 2024 ends up being a a lot smoother uh for them cuz they have their challenges ahead of them. And um they need to they need to figure some things out like uh you know in in areas they've been struggling. But my thoughts on it is like the PlayStation was PlayStation faced its hardest time during the PS3 era. And I don't think the things they're being challenged with now are nowhere near what they what they had to figure out and and uh you know survive during that era like everything imaginable went bad for them during that time so i don't think there's nothing necessarily they're dealing with now that they can't pivot from or figure out or recover if you can get through that you can get through this you're not in the worst of states so um but yeah those are just my thoughts on on the leaks you know wolverine looks fine to me like i said it's hard to judge uh, I'm not necessarily thrilled with the with the schedule, but I can understand it. Um, the other PlayStation, um, you know, the company information, I- interesting, you know, regarding the sales and sales are important because, you know, we need games to, uh, you know, that's how you get more, more games that you like. It's got to sell because uh, we there, that report just came out from somewhere in these leaks that Sunset Overdrive made the the profit from sunset overdrive was apparently like $500. I'm and that's not I'm like is that a mistake? Do they mean to do do they mean to add more zeros to that like 500,000 or 500? Apparently it's 500. That's that was their profit from sunset overdrive, which is literally nothing. They practically just broke even. Um so, yeah, it's crazy. Let me know what y'all think about all these leaks. Um, Hit the like button, hit the notification bell, um, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Follow me on Twitter if you're not. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.